Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fix a potential issue with wireless for Mac users using Lion. Some of you have been having intermittent drop issues. For example, on the top right hand corner, there's the Apple Airport icon. What happens is, this bar will be full, indicating you have good reception. However, what happens is, when you're trying to go to sites like Google, Facebook, whatever, what happens is that you're actually not able to connect to any websites. The common issue and the common fix is that you turn it off and you turn it back on again. Apple does not know of a solution for the time being. However, I've done some research online and apparently there is a quick fix. What happens is that when you move to Lion, your computer has these driver files in, in the Windows world or in the Mac world it is called kernel extension kex file. What happens is that the Lion kex file is incompatible with a particular chipset in your computer. Long story short, the driver needs to be updated. So first you download the file. I'll have the link in the description below. Once you have downloaded the file to your desktop, go ahead and double click it to unzip the file. Now you look inside and you see two files. This is the utility and this is the kex aka the driver I'm talking about. All you have to do, you drag and drop it into here. And as you do want to open the file, of course you want to. It'll ask you to type in the password. And here we go. As you can see, it is going to find that you already have this text file on your computer. It will do a backup first, so you are not completely screwed. It will backup whatever you have currently, and then it will replace with the file on the top there. The process takes roughly a minute, maybe less sometimes, depending on how fast your computer is, and now it is done. Once it is done, you don't need any of these files anymore. Go ahead and delete them. What you have to do next, you want to turn off wireless. Now that wireless is turned off, what you need to do, turn it back on, and wait for it to connect. There we go. Now that it is connected, what you will need to do next is do a shutdown. Go ahead and shut down your computer after this video is over, of course. Wait roughly a minute and then turn on your computer again. Chances are, your wireless should be fixed by now. Of course, if it still is not fixed, what you need to do, probably go on the Apple forums again and see hopefully one day some other solution will come up. If this video helped you out, please help out the video. Press like on the YouTube page. Hopefully this will drive it more to the front page. Hopefully more people will discover this video and hopefully it will fix their problem. Thanks.